Black Letter Law is a groundbreaking publication which was first published in 2006. It showcases the breadth of talent and the contribution of black, Asian and other ethnic minorities in the legal profession. It is read globally and available in print, digital and from October 2012 online too. My name is Deba Mwosu, I'm the founder of BLD and the publisher of Black Letter Law Publication. I'm also the chair of the Board of Trustees of BLD Foundation, a registered charity. The 2012 edition of Black Letter Law will have 10 sections that include legal history. The saying is that you can't know where you're going unless you know where you're coming from. The legal history section therefore looks at people like Mandela, Gandhi, Nehru and many others dating back to the 1800s and their involvement and contribution in the legal profession. For example, did you know that Nelson Mandela, a lawyer in South Africa and the first democratically elected president of South Africa was made an honorary bencher by the Middle Temple in 1994 and an honorary Queen's Council in 2000? There is also a section on the solicitors, largely partners in international and national law firms, and on the bar, in the main about Queen's Council, heads of chambers and leading and notable juniors. Black Letter Law covers black, Asian and other ethnic minorities too, in the judiciary, the legislature and the executive. It features professors of law, in fact, we call them the educators, the Hint House lawyers, including those in one of the world's or rather some of the world's largest companies and those in the public sector. This year we've added a new section, it's called the Legal Eaves. It does what it says on the team, it is about women, amazing women. So you may well ask, why black letter law? If you're a buyer of legal services, statistics do not always give you the full picture and black letter law can be a useful resource and part of the monitoring of the diversity of your suppliers of legal services. For organisations very much committed to diversity, it gives an opportunity to showcase your diverse talent pool. This publication also provides a graphic illustration of aspiring black, Asian and other ethnic minority lawyers that those who look just like them can get right to the top. So I would suggest a great resource to you for universities and schools.